process of, 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 of coding is maintenance, cleanup. Codes are like, or data, I always say databases are like gardens. Um, if you don't pay attention to them, they will get grown up with weeds, they'll get cluttered, you can't find what you're really looking for. You can't find the turnips under the, the weeds and the kochia and the sunflower and the great big nasty stuff that grows up if you're not cleaning it, if you're not pruning it, not working in it and doing some maintenance. You just got to do that, folks. And again, manager gives you some really nice tools to do that. So under the tools area, <clears throat> Tools, data cleanup, code areas. Uh, you've got a number of different code areas that you can go into and say, well, I want to go into the interest codes. And you can see, well, how many of these, uh, how many of these have we used? Greg says his rule, if you haven't used a code in the last uh, year or two, get rid of it. Uh, you know, unless there's something magical about historical value. Uh, at least deactivate it. Again, now the, the deactive status, I guess maybe explain that. What, what is the active deactive status? The big deal, I'm going to get out of this. When you're working with codes, the active or not active status determines does it appear in the drop-down list when you're adding or editing or, or assigning codes to a name. So if we were to now go into the code area, I think I can do this. Name, 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 occupation codes, find cat, and say, ah, we're not using cat anymore. We've eliminated animals. We're not, we don't care about the cats and the dogs out there anymore. I don't think, do I have the fish in there? Nope, I didn't have the fish. Okay, so I deactivated those. Now when I drop do the drop down, I may have to refresh. No, I have to close the screen and refresh. Come back, double check, click the drop down. Fish and dog are gone. Now, if I had assigned that code to anybody, it would still be there, but it wouldn't be in the list for me to assign to new people. And so that is kind of the beauty of the the active deactive element is that you can, if you think it might be useful for, or you need it historically, but it's really not something you're assigning now, go into the code and deactivate it. Um, okay, back to the cleanup. Now I'm going back data cleanup, going into codes, we're going to interest subject. You say, well, in, in thinking about it, You've decided that you really don't want the darn, oh, that was an occupation code. Uh, I'm sorry, occupation code. You've really decided you're going to get rid of it. So if you're saying, I want to select cat, and I want to select dog, and I just want to delete it, you can do that. Hit the delete button, and it's gone. Um, now, let's say uh, architect. Now, maybe you had an architect program, but you're no longer doing it. So you want to deactivate those. So you pick architect, who else are going to do? Sorry, sorry, we're, we're no longer doing journalism training. We're out of the medical training business. And we change, but you're going to keep the codes on these people because the, anyway, for historical purposes, but by making it not active, that will then automatically change that status. Uh, now, the other thing that you can do with this, and I should have made a backup before I can tell I'm going to need to, because uh, I might want to bring my codes back. But if you wanted to combine codes, if there was some reason you said Cisco and computer, they're really the same thing anymore. Uh, you can click on the first code that you want to combine the last code you click is the one that you want to complete, you want to uh, replace with. And so you have code value description. If you hit replace now, every one of these code fields that are highlighted, I only have two, but would be combined and basically Cisco would be replaced by computer. 
And maybe I want to give it a new name. Instead of computer or Cisco, I want to call it IT Tech. And that will be computers and Cisco and XX, whatever you're going to do. So again, you can combine codes, you can delete codes, you can deactivate codes, and you can rename codes through this data cleanup tool. Um, and again, if you're a little nervous about that, feel free to consult with your tech, uh, and they can kind of talk you through it, and of course recommend you make a backup before you do some heavy duty uh, data in here. But again, great tool for you to use as you're doing your, your cleanup of the system.